Welcome to this week's edition of Tight Lines. This is Will Morrow sitting in for Wesley Remmer while he's gone fishing. Well, whether you call them silver or coho salmon, catching them is a whole lot of fun and a pair of events at either end of the peninsula this weekend should provide plenty of opportunities for anglers of all ages. On the east side of the peninsula, the Seward Silver Salmon Derby runs through noon on Sunday. The leader in the derby standings as of Wednesday morning is Philip Lazenby of Kenai, who caught a 19.15 pound silver while fishing at Kane's Head. Also on the leaderboard from the Central Peninsula is Marianne Williams of Nikiski, who caught a 14.31 pound silver while fishing aboard the Niceberg at Lowell Point. Sewer Derby tickets are available at Derby headquarters across from the Beedock Fish Cleaning Station. The Alaska Department of Fish and Game reports silver salmon fishing to be very good in Resurrection Bay and very good to excellent outside the bay. Trolling with herring has been the preferred method. Halibut fishing out of Seward also is very good. The Resurrection River drainage downstream from Nash Road also is open to salmon fishing, though it has been slow. At the other end of the Kenai Peninsula, the Nick Dudiak Fishing Lagoon on the Homer Spit will be the site of a youth fishing day hosted by Fish and Game. A portion of the lagoon will be open only to anglers 15 and younger from 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. on Saturday. Fish and Game staff will be on hand from 4 to 7 to help young anglers gear up for the silvers returning to the lagoon. A good time to hook silvers may be just about 4.30 when the tide rolls in. According to Fish and Game, anglers are reporting that fishing for silvers in the lower portions of the Anchor and the Nilchik Rivers and Deep Creek also is fair. Fishing for silver salmon on the Kenai River has been described as slow to fair. On Wednesday morning at Cunningham Park on Beaver Loop, it just depended on who you asked among the 15 or so anglers along the bank. Chuck Rouse told me he hooked a silver on his first cast and had a good bite on his second. He said the fishing this week has been some of the best he's had in his years of wetting the line at Cunningham. He said he's been fishing in the afternoon and been limiting out, but just decided to give the morning tide a try. Other anglers weren't having as much success, but were at least enjoying the morning by the river. Robert Johnson was out fishing with his wife Rebecca and nine-year-old daughter Anna. While they hadn't hauled in a fish, no one seemed too frustrated. He said they were just out having a good time. Gear of choice at Cunningham Park is generally salmon egg clusters and a spinning glow. Anglers also find success using spinners or fly fishing tackle. As always, check the regulations for the body of water you plan to fish before heading out. Don't forget to f submit your favorite fishing photos by email to tightlines at peninsulaclarion.com. Until next week, here's wishing you tight lines.